Hello everybody, today uh, we're going to be playing Dark Souls again. This is part two. Uh, I didn't do much off screen, but I did do the uh, farming method I showed off in the first video where you uh, come up here, get the dragon to uh, kill some enemies, and then run back down. I did it like just a couple times just to get my endurance up uh, a little bit, but we're basically going to be coming up here and we're going to be coming to this area right here. You're going to want to stand uh, right about here. That's a good area. And you're just going to want to stand here until that dragon uh, gets down. Uh, but basically, eventually, he's going to get down. And uh, there we go. So now... Uh, uh, okay. See, this dragon, you can't really... Uh, let's hope he doesn't kill me right now. Okay, good. So anyway, we're going to go to this bonfire. Uh, I already lit the bonfire. Uh, I already tried making this video earlier, but I kept dying to an enemy that uh, we don't have to kill yet, but I kept trying to kill a certain enemy and I kept uh, dying over and over again. Uh, so we're not going to be doing that uh, just because I I don't know why, uh, but I just kept dying to him, it, which is really weird because normally that doesn't happen. Uh, I think it has something to do with like either the amount of endurance I have or the wooden shield that I have because normally I do start off with a warrior build. Uh, but basically, if you go up these stairs to the top, there's a black knight, which is basically a powerful knight that may drop uh, a really OP weapon, but... Uh, we're not going to get that yet, just because, for whatever reason, I kept dying uh, to him, which is very odd, because I know it doesn't happen, but oh well. Uh, we can always uh, come back to him later, uh, as I get more endurance, uh, I will be able to come back and get it. Uh, I really hate this section up here, uh, but we're going to this section up here uh, because because uh, there's something over there we can get and it also oh uh, see seriously this guy's following me too ah oh, fuck okay this part really pisses me off because we have two guys over here just shooting us from far away and then we have two of these guys with shields which don't don't even like they just sit there with their shields and they don't even like do anything like See, they just, every time you attack, it's like they always have their fucking shields up and they're all, yeah, they're all aggroed and they're all following me, which, just, these guys just piss me off so fucking much. I really don't like these, uh, okay, and would you look at that? I fell down here because of, uh, locking onto the character. Okay, well, that bull I don't think can get us down here. Uh, that bull you can kill just uh, it's gonna be hard to do at the point in the game that we are at uh, that bull is kind of strong and uh, you can kill him but uh, he's uh, most likely gonna kill you if you try it and now oh see this pisses me off too because that guy's gonna go away and this guy's just gonna follow me so it takes a long time trying to kill all these guys and everything just gets in the way and you know you really got to be patient with this game but like every time you die you're going to be going back to the same bonfire which really makes the game kind of aggravating now here we just went in there briefly because it's basically a setup these guys are going to attack you from that side so that's why we basically go here we go back to aggro them and kill them like that don't let these guys uh, sneak up on you because these hollows, they're very weak enemies. They don't do a whole ton of damage, but they swing very fast. They do a bunch of swings really quickly, and when you have three or four of them, that's a death trap. Especially when they corner you. Like, these guys, they're, they're really not threats, but in groups of, like, three, four, five, you know, you're basically going to get fucked. Uh, unless you make sure that doesn't happen by killing them one by one. I'm just going to drink an Essence Flask because I am like halfway down. But anyway, you're going to want to kill this guy. There's going to be an item here you can get. And it's going to give you a mystery key. Now we're going to use this mystery key uh, pretty soon. 
Uh, but we're going to go up this ladder. And this area, uh, like honestly, you're probably going to die a couple of times here because it is very annoying. But we are first going to try to get to the next bonfire. Another thing we can do right here. And if you're like really low on health, you don't have to risk it. But you just have to be very careful. It's kind of like tight roping. Uh, but you'll get a large soul of the undead. But yeah, you, if you fall, you're going to take like... Uh, not too much fall damage, but you don't really want any amount of fall damage because any amount of health in this game is good. You want as much of that red bar to remain as possible. So anyway, we're going to go here in this part. Uh, we're going to want to go left. We're going to want to come up here. We're going to want to kill this first guy right here. And it's one of those shielded guys that are really, really annoying. Yep, won't let me fucking hit him won't attack and he just sits there like a little bitch by a shield until occasionally swinging like that and you have to wait for him to swing uh, to do it. It's really, really annoying. And actually before I do that I'm going to get a better shield and maybe kill that uh, Black Knight later with it. This guy right here, you can actually backstab him. So you're going to want to walk up very, 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 very slowly like so. And you're just going to want to press the attack button, boom, backstab if you have the Drake sword. You're gonna one shot it. Um, if you don't backstab it, if like he notices you before you can backstab him, it's not that big of a deal. You can just kill him. Uh, and look, he even dropped a titanite shard. We're actually getting quite a bit of those right now. Now we actually have a shield that isn't complete dog shit. All right, let's go. Uh, we're gonna go through this hall, and uh, this hall kind of annoys me. We're actually going to kill this guy first. Uh, there's a, another guy over yonder that will... Uh, there's one of these guys right here that will sneak up on you, but uh, I killed that guy first instead of this guy because this guy just... He sneaks up on you and he's just... If he's in his mood where he just has a shield up, that guy's going to attack you from behind anyway, so... I usually just kill that knight first for that reason. Um, I mean, wait, what's actually down here? Okay, that's right. So now we're coming right here and we're going to open up a shortcut by going through here. This is a halberd. We now have a halberd we can use. There's going to be another knight that shows up right here. They swing pretty fast, but they're not they're not terribly dangerous. They're like they're a little bit harder, but you know, nothing too bad. You can like Two shot them, I guess, with the Drake sword. Okay, boom. Now we're gonna go down here, and we're gonna collect. Uh, there's just another one of these guys. Not really a problem. Kill him. And now we have the basement key. We do need this key because it is important to go to a specific area later on in the game. But we're gonna pull this right here, and this is gonna open up uh, the area to right behind the bowl. So now. You can just run through straight. Uh, if you do choose to do so, this bull will still charge at you. Uh, so yeah, but I think once you get into here, he will no longer charge you. But before we go into that room, that room's going to be harder to get to the no next bonfire than if we just do this. So we're going to go over here. There's just going to be three guys that we have to kill, but we're really close. Uh, to the next bonfire and actually our first uh, blacksmith and blacksmiths are very important in this game and uh, Okay, we need another Estus flask, but yeah blacksmiths are uh, Very very beneficial in this game So we're gonna go down this way and finally we are here. We just have to go down the stairs to the left. And there are some more stairs. And finally, we can light this bonfire. And we're at our next bonfire. Alright, now, at this point, some of you watching may be thinking, what is the goal of this game? What's the story and what are you actually trying to do? Because if you're like me and you skip everything, uh, you might not know. Basically, what we're trying to do is go through 
this area right here is called Sense Fortress. And actually, we're going to walk up to it really quickly. And we're going to talk to this bloke right here. Just uh, sitting right here off the ledge. We're just going to talk to him. Talk to him again. Talk to him again, maybe? Alright. Yeah, we're just going to try to exhaust his dialogue. We can't actually go here, but the next part of the game that we're doing is we are basically ringing two bells, and when we ring these two giant bells, this gate will open, and uh, that's basically our goal in the game right now, is to ring those two bells. Alright, so... Now that we've made it this far in the game, I don't really see a point in going to our blacksmith to upgrade the uh, the Drake sword. And the reason why is because there is a much better sword that uses the same upgrade materials as the Drake sword. And we're, uh, we're going to get that later on in the game. But uh, for right now, I can level up twice. I do want my endurance to go up to 15. Uh, vitality is also important as well. I'm putting more into uh, into endurance just because like it's more useful uh, if you don't get hit if that makes sense like uh, It'll basically, endurance basically keeps you from getting hit because you have more like blocks and whatnot. But anyway, this right here is our blacksmith. And uh, we're going to go down here to our next section. Uh, there are two bosses that we can go to. Uh, the choice is, uh, the choice is like yours to make. Uh, but one of the bosses is going to be the twin gargoyles. The other boss is going to be the moonlight butterfly. I'm actually going to kill the moonlight butterfly first in this walkthrough. The reason why is just because it's an easier boss and some of you watching may be new to the game. And if you are new to the game it's uh, going to be a lot easier to kill uh, moonlight butterfly but we are going to kill the twin gargoyles uh, after that. But before we get started on that we actually have another fire soul to get. This fire soul is going to be pretty easy to get. We're just going to run up here and uh, yeah, just kill these guys first. And uh, yeah, anytime you see a white thing over here, you're going to want to pick it up. Uh, we just got like some useless armor right there, but uh, anyway, here's our fire soul. So this guy right here, you don't have to fight him. You can basically just run past him, grab this thing. We got the firekeeper soul. We're now going to have better Estus. Uh, this guy right here, if you kill him, he won't respawn. Like he's a, uh, some enemies in this game don't respawn. He's one of them, I believe. And, uh... You don't have to kill him. He's actually not too difficult, though, as you can see right there. And he dropped a Titanite shard. Let's go. So anyway, now that we got our Firekeeper Soul, we're going to go straight, and we're now going to step onto here, and we're going to activate the pressure plate. And now, we are in a glorious place called Firelink Shrine. That's where it leads to, basically... A lot of areas in this game lead back to Firelink Shrine, and Firelink Shrine has a lot of places that you can uh, walk to and get to, like a lot of shortcuts through Firelink Shrine, and this is just one of them. Now, the reason we're going to Firelink Shrine right now is to uh, talk to the Fire Soul Keeper. Now, actually, right here, I'm just going to rest here just because this gives off the... Uh, the 10 Estus Flask. I'm actually going to explain the uh, the flask system a little bit more since I probably should have done that in the first video to be honest, but we're going to reinforce the Estus Flask again, and now we have plus 2. So, 
yeah, you can actually get this all the way up to plus seven. And with each uh, plus that you get, like, it's a significant difference. Like, Estus Flask versus Estus Flask plus one is significant. Estus Flask one versus Estus Flask two is also significant. So that's why we're uh, doing that. We're just going to come right back up here and... Uh, I'm going to explain how kindling works and how to uh, level up bonfires just for uh, newcomers to the game. Uh, if you have played this game already and are just struggling to beat it, you probably already know what I'm talking about and you probably already know how to do this, but uh, yeah, we're just going to go straight forward. As you can see, that guy did not respawn. Yeah, we're just going to run through here. We're not even going to deal with these guys this time. We're just... Uh, actually, no. I don't think we have enough uh, souls anyway. We need... Uh, right now, we actually need 2,000 souls. So, save your souls right now because we're going to need about 2,000. And uh, if you don't have 2,000, I would just recommend uh, killing a bunch of guys... Uh, in that uh, castle area that we were just in just there's a lot of enemies there you can uh, get better at the game as well as getting some more souls uh, but anyway we're not going to spend any of these instead i'm going to explain how this works so basically here's how you upgrade bonfires i'm going to upgrade this bonfire right here to show you uh, i don't need to uh upgrade this bonfire but right here if i like you may notice, I have 10 Estus Flask, and that's because I went to a bonfire with a Firekeeper. I think there are three bonfires that have Firekeepers in this game, I may be mistaken. But, uh, any bonfire with a Firekeeper is going to give you 10 Estus Flask, and the Bonfire and Fire Lake Shrine has 10 Estus Flask because it has a Fire Keeper. So if I drink this Estus Flask right here, if I just drink it all, and if I come back here to rest, I have 5 again. I don't have 10. Now the way to get this up to 10, and this is by bonfire by the way, it depends on the bonfire, and if you're ever stuck at an area, basically you're going to want to uh, upgrade your bonfire. Here's how you do it. So your humanity, you're going to use a humanity. And basically, you're going to go to here, and you're going to do reverse hollowing. And reverse hollowing basically means that your humanity is restored. If you die again, you're no longer human. So right now, I'm human again. If I die again, I'm no longer going to be human. Now, if I go here and I go to Kindle and I press yes, this bonfire is now going to have 10 Estus Flask. You, unfortunately, can only Kindle a bonfire once in, in like, each bonfire. And 10 Estus Flask is the maximum you can get it to at this point in the game. Later on in the game, you can get it up to plus 20, but there's a certain item that you need to do that. We will uh, get there eventually. Uh, but there is a way you can get plus 20. And uh, we are going to be doing that before getting to some of the harder areas in the game. So anyway, we're going to come down here. We're going to see this guy who looks like a boss, but he's not. He's a, a non-respawnable enemy that... Uh, drops a special type of titanite. I think it's like demon titanite or... Whoa, shit. Okay. Well, he hit me. These guys have very predictable patterns. There are lots of them. Each time you kill one, the other becomes stronger. I recommend killing this one first because you will encounter him more, but if you are struggling with this guy, you don't actually have to kill him yet. Uh, he does have a lot of health, and he does do a lot of damage, but thankfully, uh, if you fight this guy like two or three times, eventually you're going to memorize the move set. It's a really basic move set. It isn't uh, too complicated. 
it's just very predictable and that's uh, really what makes these guys easy in my opinion at least for like the first couple of times the first couple ones are easy but the more you kill the harder the other ones get by killing this guy I'm basically strengthening all the other titanite demons and there are multiple of these guys and we're gonna uh, we're gonna try to kill them all but uh, it's gonna get more and more difficult as the game goes on as you can see, I only have uh, like a quarter of his house down and I've been attacking this bastard for like a little bit. But yeah, always have your shield up uh, when fighting these guys. Also, uh, when he's not attacking, don't hold your shield because holding your shield will uh, basically make it so you don't regain your endurance as quickly. So, yeah, basically, we're just going to keep attacking him. Th this guy really, like, your first couple of times, the first couple of times I tried to kill this guy, like, I died. And it was really hard, but once, like, you get the move patterns down, like, you're good. That's really all you have to do, get the move patterns uh, really good. And let's just hit him once, one more time. There we go. And... I think it's Demon Titanite we get. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The shit is on top of a... Uh... There we go. Okay, yeah, Demon Titanite. We got one of them. And uh, certain weapons uh, in the game basically upgrade... Oh, no, sorry. I, I lost my train of thought. Um, certain weapons in the game require certain materials uh, to upgrade them. So, basically, let me show you right now what we have. Uh, we know we're in. No, oh, I should be in. There we go. Upgrade materials. So, titanite shards are just basic uh, reinforcements. Demon titanites uh, give reinforcements to certain weapons, and there are Lots of different types of uh, titanite that you can get in this game. But anyway, we're going to talk to Andre here. That's his name. He's Blacksmith. We're actually going to purchase an item from him. Uh, you can purchase up to four titanite shards from him. Each of them are 800 souls. Uh, the weapon we're currently using, the uh, Drake Sword, I think requires dragon titanite, something like that. Um, but all we're going to buy from Andre right now is the repair box and basically every time our sword breaks we can just repair it for uh, some souls. Uh, I'm also going to go to the bonfire again just to uh, see if I can level up. Yeah and uh, this should be pretty obvious but any time in this game where you can level up you should level up. I cannot level up. I'm going to kill a couple of guys up here but anyway the sword that we're using right now, the Drake Sword, it needs uh, Dragon Titanite to upgrade. There is a better weapon that also uses the same uh, material, so we're not actually going to upgrade the Drake Sword in this uh, tutorial. Again, if you want to, you can. I'm not going to tell you how to play the game or what to do. I'm just going to give suggestions. Um, I mean, upgrading the Drake Sword isn't, like, the worst thing you can do. It's really not. I just would prefer to upgrade another sword later on in the game. So, yeah, uh, for a quick uh, farming method, if you don't have 2,000 souls... Oh, this guy up here is... Oh, I hate that guy. Aw, oh, fuck that guy. Okay, he just shoots magic at us. We're going to need to lower these enemies out here, drink some of them. So basically, you can just kill these guys. Um, these guys are a little bit more difficult than everyone else. But the good news about these guys is they do drop a lot of titanite shards. And... Uh, you can also get souls from them, so if you don't have the 2,000 souls to get the repair box, and trust me, you want the repair box. Oh, 
We're just gonna go down here. We're just gonna level up. What should I level up? My endurance is pretty high. I kind of want to upgrade it again, though. Uh, maybe vitality. Yeah, we'll, we'll do vitality for now. I'm also going to start getting my uh, strength and dexterity up just because I'm going to be using, like, actual weapons. I'm not going to be using miracles or, um, or sorcery, so I don't really need to get anything else up. I'm basically just going to use uh, mainly actual weapons, and then I'm going to, like, use pyromancy on the side for, like, projectile stuff, so I'm going to use pyromancy, actually, but, uh, I'm mainly going to use actual weapons. Alright, anyway, uh, I just got a notification on my phone, uh, that's why I stopped for just a little bit, but anyway, we're gonna go down here. And, uh, yeah, welcome to the next area. Anyway, we're gonna kill this guy first. Uh, I'm not sure if this is, like, the most orthodox way of playing the game, because I think most people would kill the bell gargoyles first. The only reason we're not killing them first is just because the next boss is easier. I'm just trying to do like the easier bosses first. That's really the only reason. But anyway, uh, these guys right here are really annoying. So these guys, oh shit, that guy popped up right behind me. They take uh, three hits to kill with the Drake sword. But uh, they can pick you up and start doing some weird attack where they take most of your health away. The really annoying grab attack. But yeah, kill that guy. You got some moss clumps. Actually, this area is actually good for getting uh, moss clumps. I don't remember what types of moss clumps, but certain moss clumps are very helpful, but anyway, we're gonna go through here, and, uh, we're just gonna open this door, it's a, basically a secret wall, there are a lot of secret walls in Dark Souls, but anyway, we're just gonna lay down right here, or stop at this bonfire behind this, uh, invisible wall, uh, this right here, this is a door, we need the crest of our Taurus to open it, we're not going to do that yet because uh, we're not at a high enough level. Now we're going to go down here. Now to your right. Wait, no. Wait, yes. Okay, so to your right, right here, you see that there's an item right here that you can get. I do not recommend getting this yet. And the reason why is actually because there are going to be three really annoying enemies that come out and attack you. So... Every time you go past here, you're going to have to deal with three more enemies just to kill, and it's just, it's not worth it yet. So we are going to get this item eventually, but we're going to get this item after we kill the boss, uh, just in case we die on the way, because uh, this boss isn't too difficult. Um, you can die to this boss, but... Um, not like super likely, but anyway, we're gonna start killing these. Okay, this guy already hit me. Okay, that's not good. Let's go drink our Estus. Anyway, yeah, so these guys do magic right here, and this magic, you can normally kill them before they're done casting their spell, but it casts a spell on you where uh, basically you, you just can't roll and you move really slowly. Uh, but those guys are actually, they are a lot easier to kill than they look. They look really intimidating. They look really hard. They're really not. Uh, but anyway, these guys, um, if you're looking for an achievement to, uh, like if you're trying to 100% Dark Souls, you are going to need to kill these guys a lot to get 
both their sword and their shield. It is a chance weapon, meaning that, okay, actually, we're going to want to kill these guys first. So this area right here is kind of like an ambush section. Uh, you're going to want to kill these guys before that guy wakes up and he already woke up. Okay, we're going to kill this guy real quick. Oh, okay, that guy almost killed me. Okay, drink that, drink that, drink that. Okay, there we go. We're good. We are good. Good. That that is an ambush section that uh, can't kill you, can fuck you up. But uh, yeah, we're we're doing good. We're doing good. All right, just yep. Can't even cast the magic spell. And by the way, the magic spell doesn't really make attacking them too much more difficult. It makes it kind of harder, but not too much. But yeah, we're just gonna collect our elite knight stuff. It's a uh, very good. Uh, armor set to have. Uh, the only downside to it is it is very heavy, so you are going to want a lot of endurance, uh, you know, to not go really, really slow in it. But the Elite armor set is actually uh, pretty good. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, see. This, this is where the... Because these guys aren't really that bad, but it's, it's when you have, like, this guy ganging up on you as well as this guy that that becomes an issue where you can easily get hit because these guys on their own aren't that bad but uh it gets annoying when you have to uh attack this guy as well as a couple of those leafy bastards okay dead all right there is a suspicious tree right here. Oh, look, it's a tree that has health. Uh, let's kill the tree. I, I believe that there is, like, some really weird optional thing you can do here. Like, it's an optional thing. You don't have to do it, but... Actually, we're not going to go down there yet. We're going to go down there later. We're not going down there yet. And, and by the way... Um, you don't have to kill all these enemies uh, the first time you go through here. Right now we're just getting to the boss. And the boss is just all the way to your right. You just have to kill a couple of these night guys. Um, but you can just run to the boss anytime you want. And uh, actually, I believe there's a quest line actually where you need... I need, I need to make sure actually that... Oh, okay, let's not die. I need to make sure, because I think I'm still human. I don't think I died since I restored my humanity, so. Um, yeah, so uh, another thing you can do with Dark Souls, actually, is you can, uh, in human form, actually, I shouldn't need to go back. I think I just need to make sure I'm human and my human... Uh, I think so. I don't think I died. I mean, worst case scenario, I just have to go back and uh, restore my humanity. But basically, there is a side quest. Now, I don't really like using summons in Dark Souls for the most part. But we're going to summon Witch Beatrice because I believe that she uh, gives you a quest line and that... Or I think it's either a quest line or she can help you in a much... Oh no, it's... Okay, I remember now. She helps you in a much harder boss fight. But only if um, she helps you here first. So we're going to go up here with uh, Witch Beatrice. She... Is she following us? Yep. So Witch Beatrice will help you with a much harder boss. You don't really need her for this next boss because this boss is really a joke. But... You still want to use this summon, and I really recommend if you lost your humanity to get your humanity back so you can use the summon sign. You can only use the summon sign if you have your humanity. So if you lost your humanity, just run to the area, kill that one guy. You really only need to kill one knight. Get here, just kill that one guy, run past everyone else, and then uh, summon Witch Beatrice. Uh, so anyway, right now we're attacking the Moonlight Butterfly, who is... Really, really easy. Uh, you just... The main thing... Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, see, she was blocking my way. She's not being helpful right now, actually. Because she just blocked my way, so I couldn't roll. Um, if you get caught up in these magic attacks, uh, they are very dangerous, as you can see. I didn't roll in time. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well... Isn't looking 
good. Okay. Um. But yeah, she's gonna start actually attacking her right here. Oh man, I need to roll on time. I think. Okay. Well, whatever. We're like butterflies, basically. Uh. Oh shit, 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 okay. Yep, you don't want to get caught in that. That is pretty much an inst uh, kill. Man, I really hope I don't die to the Moonlight Butterfly with the summon. That won't look good for my self-esteem at all. To literally die to Moonlight Butterfly while having a summon helping me. Although, to be fair, she did kind of, uh, there we go. Well, she got defeated. And Witch Beatrice helped us. Hooray. And now she will be there to help us on a much harder boss fight. Because again, Moonlight Butterfly, not too difficult. But, uh, as the game goes on, there will be a much harder boss. And for some reason, you can only use Witch Beatrice to help you in that boss fight if she helps you in this one. So that's why we summoned her. So. Yeah, I mean, that boss fight too isn't like the most difficult, to be honest. Um, I'm not going to like spoil it or go into why, but, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world if you don't uh, use uh, her at all. But uh, it's basically just like a medium level boss. I'm just not going to get into it too much because... No, I don't want to spoil anything. And actually, I think I already went up there. I need to, do I have everything I need? Yeah, we do. We have everything. And now, now we can just homeward bone out of here. Cause I don't really want to. Oh man, this is. Fuck, I hate how everything just automatically stores up in here. Like, I only want two things, okay? I want my Estus and I want my Homeward Bone. That's it. I don't want all that other shit. Alright, here we go. Now I can level up quite a bit. Uh, strength, I'm going to level up twice. And we can also get our... Uh, hmm... We'll need some dexterity points as well. And let's get our HP up as well. There we go. Alright. And there we go. Oh, I actually think this... You know, I'm actually going to end the video here. I was going to do a little bit of... Uh, a little bit more stuff, but you know, I think this is a good stopping point. I am also getting like really tired too. So thank you for watching. I will be making part three shortly. Thank you for watching.